What's up guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we did get new content. Now, looking at the content, looking at the playoff stopper set. This content's decent. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Because guys, today we're going to go over some snipe filters. We're going to go over these new packs and all the hype going around in this game right now. Um, Follow the Twitter. Definitely follow the Twitter, follow the Instagram, all that good stuff. But yeah, right now, man, we are going to go over some things that I want to talk about in NBA 2K21. My team, first off, man, these packs, if you really want to pop these packs, I, in my opinion, I don't think they're worth it whatsoever. We're most likely to get way better content on Friday. And if you think about the odds from these packs to these packs, they're honestly not even close. So if I were you, definitely do not pop these packs right now. They're actually not that good. Not only that, the spotlight challenges only get you Wall Frazier. So, five solos, that's it. And the solos, you literally have all the time in the world to complete the solos. So, only five challenges. You could do one a day. That's what I'm going to do. No rush for those. Domination is definitely the best method right now to get your tokens and whatever. Because those packs, they only, I mean, those challenges, they only give you a Sapphire Wall Frazier, in which I'm already past the Sapphire stage on my team. So my PM man, one challenge a day because there is a reward, okay? So that's all I wanted to say in this video before we do get into MT methods and whatnot. For, you get Gary Payton for the set. Now, are a lot of people going to pop these packs? Most likely not, which means there's not going to be too many snipes. But if you do get a snipe, you most likely will sell for a decent amount. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into some snipe filters. First off, first snipe filter we're going to go over. Is definitely this one right here. Dennis Johnson and Doug Christie. Amethyst. Probably not going to be that hard to pull. Um, this is probably going to be a very good snipe filter right here. As you can see, Dennis Johnson is already under 40k. And he did just drop. So, Dennis Johnson, Amethyst. You're most likely going to snipe him out. Um, is he a good card though? That's the real question. I know he's very good at defense. He can't shoot whatsoever. Let's check his speed. His speed is, all, is only an 85 too. So Gus Williams already beats his Dennis Johnson card. In my opinion, this card isn't the best. But how to make MT off these new spotlights. This is probably going to be the way off the new content and whatnot. The Amethyst filter is definitely going to be the best. Another one, man. We got Ben Wallace. He is the only diamond off the pack. So with that being said, he is one of the best centers in the game other than Hakeem. But is he going to go for that expensive? Most likely not, guys. If you really think about it. We're talking about a Ben Wallace. We also have Hakeem Olajuwon in the diamond center position. So would you rather Ben Wallace or would you rather Hakeem? I think a lot of people can answer that with Hakeem Olajuwon. So is this is this like the best thing to be doing right now in my team? MT-wise, everything-wise? Most certainly, definitely not. That's the one thing I'm going to say, man. Hakeem's also cheaper than Ben Wallace as of right now. So do I see Ben Wallace's price dropping in the future? Yes. So if you do pull any of those cards, make sure to sell them off. They're definitely not worth it at that price. Ben Wallace is definitely not worth it. Hakeem's definitely the way better center. So yeah, that's all I'm really going to say right now. But in this set right now, one player that catches my eye, honestly, is definitely Bill Walton and Tony Allen. Why? Because Tony Allen, as you guys do know, is a insane at defense. Okay, so we're going to go look over his defense 95 defensive overall. He also has six gold baddest, 13, whatever. 64 three more shot. He's not that good at offense. He could dunk though, okay? Right now, be, be honest, his jump shot's a little whack. It's a little hard to hit shots, especially against all-time Dom, against a lot of things. So his perimeter defense, I'm going to compare him to this card that I did discover, which we're going to most likely make a video on later today because he is a budget baller. But yeah, man, perimeter defense at 90. 86 steel man that's very big for defense comparing him to luca luca's 66 defense guys so only reason why i'm going to say this tony allen is definitely worth it is definitely because of his defense defense is very big in nba 2k 21 my team right now there isn't a lot of good defensive players so to be honest i think this card you could probably snipe him out a lot i would definitely pay attention to the rubies right there 3400 we did miss that we could have made a 2000 mt profit 
So really for this set, you could literally just look it up either by Ruby or whatever you guys want. Be honest, man. Bill Walton, also another solid center. I honestly think I'm going to pick him up. I like Bill Walton. I'm pretty sure. Does he have a mid-range? He does not have a mid-range, which is honestly kind of surprising. Overall, though, comparing it to my Diamond Boogie, he has more gold badges than Diamond Boogie, which is kind of crazy. And honestly, I do, I'm do. i using Kevin Duckworth right now at center, so maybe Bill Walton is worth the upgrade. As you guys can see, Bill Walton is going for already under 6K, so... I guess he's a decent player. Also, man, these spotlight challenges do not require these new playoff stopper uh, sets. So that's another good advantage. But anyways, how are you going to make MT other than the set? Well, here's the thing, man. You're going to make MT simple. Just going on simple Anthus filters and Ruby filters. Not even really looking off the set. Pretty much, honestly, the new content's obviously going to drop in value. Those cards are not good whatsoever. And if you really want to pop packs, I would definitely recommend waiting till Friday. But Amethyst Filter right here, man, it's probably going to be your best bet in sniping right now in NBA 2K20 on my team. Not only that, if you have any Amethyst cards, any cards in general, I would definitely recommend selling them. They're very high, very, very, very high right now. So here's some like three snipe filters that are going to help you make MT right now, okay? We're going to go with Amethyst Filter, man. I will just go Amethyst. Definitely Amethyst is a very good one. It's a little pricey, but I would definitely recommend. Next up, Ruby. My opinion, guys, Ruby Filter is definitely one of the best filters in the game. Make easy profit, quick, quick, easy, easy, easy. So definitely try out this Ruby Filter. It's probably one of the best ones you could buy. Bro, Clay Thompson for 2600 You know that was bought already. Look at all these old snipes. Like, this is why I don't understand 2K hasn't fixed the auction block yet. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what is the point? So as you guys can see, all these snipes that are up on the auction are all old. But if they were real, just look at all these snipes we missed. We could have made bank off we got if we got all four of these snipes. Yes, they've been up for a while. They're obviously gone. But you see what I'm saying, man. Clay Thompson for 2600 That's kind of crazy. Tony Allen's for 3100 I don't think it's worth it. He's most likely just going to continuously drop in value. But in my opinion, man, Ruby's definitely the best filter. And then next up, Sapphire. Those are the three filters that are going to make you the most MT. You could try the dime filter. You never know if you get lucky or not. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Hopefully this video helps you make MT. Other than that, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.